In a moment, I'll show you how you can iterate through a list. In other words, you can visit each item one at a time using a loop. If you're going to use a loop to scan through a list, it's useful to know the length of the list, how many items are in there. And you can find that out using the so-called len function, like this. I'm going to print the length of fruit. In this case, the length of the list is 8. It contains 8 items. So let's see how we can use this information in a loop. You may want to refresh your memory about loops before you try this yourself. I've covered looping, or iteration, in another video. I'm going to create a new variable called i, and I'm going to assign it the value 0. This will allow me to count my way through the loop. And here's the loop. While i is less than the length of the list, called fruit, in other words, while i is less than 8, I'm going to print item number i. And then I'm going to add 1 to i. Now let's think about what's going to happen. At the start of the loop, the value of i is 0, which is less than the length of the list. It's less than 8. So I print item 0 of the list, which of course is an apple. Then I add 1 to i. I'm saying take whatever i is, add 1 to it, and store the result back into i. Increment i. So i is now equal to 1. We go back to the top of the loop. 1 is still less than 8, so we print item number 1. And then we add 1 to i. i is now 2. We go back to the top of the loop. 2 is less than 8, so now we print item number 2. And so on. And this continues until such time as i is no longer less than 8. Eventually i will become 8. In which case the code will continue from here. And if there is any more code, it will execute no matter what, because we've dropped out of the loop. Let's see what happens. So I have a nice convenient way of outputting each item in the list individually. Note that I've scanned a list of eight items using just four lines of code. I could just as easily scan a list of a thousand items, or indeed any number of items, using just four lines of code. That's the beauty of using iteration to visit each item in the list. I could also use a for loop instead of a while loop, like this. That's coming from the first loop, and this is coming from the second loop. You can see printing the items in a list with a for loop is a lot easier to do. There's a lot less code there. Python does more of the work for me. Having said that, there will be circumstances when it's more practical to use a while loop instead of a for loop. A while loop is a bit fiddlier to write, but it's more flexible. In the next video, I'll show you how to sort the items in a list into a particular order.